All right, before I piss anyone off with this, this is what I call a blind review, where I haven't actually seen the movie. It is for comedic purposes. So, Tenet is Christopher Nolan's new movie, and my god was I excited to see it. I mean, it's basically brought cinema back, right? How good? So, um... Tenet is about a man traveling through time as he meets historical figures throughout history. And, you know, it gives you an idea of what these people were really like, which is, you know, kind of fascinating, particularly when you see that the main character, along with whatever Robert Pattinson's character's name is, kills certain people. Like, you know, they, they're the ones that kill Abraham Lincoln, for, for example, because they had to... You, you know, if you see it, you understand that the plot justifies itself there. Like, they don't have a choice. And, yeah, with that being said, like, because they don't have a choice, because they have to, you know, kill people and stuff, they're just, they're these, they're these hitmen time-traveling duo, right? So, with that, I have to say that Christopher Nolan does this in a way that comes off very dry. It's very emotionless, Tenet, um, as most of his movies are, you know. Nolan's not a man for sentimentality. Like, he's not, he's not a guy that really cares about your emotions and stuff. He, he just wants to create some sort of clever story. And you know, with Tenet, he doesn't disappoint. But because it's so emotionless throughout and stuff, it kind of makes it weird how the ending took a far left turn right at the end, where instead of being based on like this logical, factual kind of like sci-fi theory and, and stuff like that, instead of being like this realistic thing, Nolan just decides to explain that all the characters can time travel because of love and because they love each other a lot. And that's nice. There's something special about that, don't you think? I, I certainly think so. Instead of being logical, it's because of love. It's beautiful. But because it got all sentimental low and all that kind of stuff, and because they are hitmen after all, traveling through space and time, um, <laughs> I don't get why he held back and didn't kill baby Hitler. Like, I know it's a baby and th that's kind of immoral and stuff, but come on, it's Hitler. Like, you gotta, what it, come on. Uh, the best part of the movie was easily when you find out that the main character is his own dad, you know, through use of time travel. It's a bit fucked up. Once you start to think about how that kind of thing can happen, it starts to get a little bit disturbing, but Christopher Nolan doesn't quite linger on that too much. So all you're really left with is like, oh, wow, that, that's a fucking fascinating twist. It blows your mind. It's ingenious. Christopher Nolan is a genius and with that like Tenet is just this very clever movie that's going for you know twists and turns every moment and time travel it's very much just very much about time travel and going through space and time and yeah and of course how could I not talk about Batman's appearance yes as we all expected the fans will be happy to know Batman does indeed make an appearance in Tenet. You know, with Christopher Nolan, Batman and him kind of have a relationship. So he let him in this movie. He let him have a cameo. I think that's just really nice of him. I think that, um... And it really paid off. Like, it's probably the best part of the movie. You know, apart from when he finds out that he's his own dad. That's also a, a very good part as well. Every part of Tenet is the best part. Um, but I think what really sets Tenet apart from every other Christopher Nolan movie, and, you know, a lot of other different movies that we've had in the past, is that it, um, it's unavailable to me at the moment because I'm in lockdown. Uh, being in Melbourne and stuff, I'm I'm not allowed to go see it, uh, and I and so I I really think that that makes it special, you know, <laughs> that sets it apart from from a lot of a lot of movies that I have seen. Okay, so yes, breaking character and all that shit. Maybe this was dumb. Maybe I'm just going way too stupid with this idea and stuff. But I want to keep doing these stupid blind reviews like I did for Sonic a couple months ago because I think they're funny. Hopefully you do too. I don't know. I. <laughs> We'll see. I'll see. Some people got mad at me for that last Sonic one because they thought I cheated and looked up the plot or something, which I certainly didn't. <laughs> um, and some people just thought it was like, oh, Im Im immoral to review a movie I hadn't seen, even though I was upfront about it and it was a joke. So I'm expecting a bit of that <laughs> with this one as well. We'll see how it goes. Uh, do the things like comment, share, subscribe, all that stuff. You know what the things are, the things I always say, the things every other YouTuber always says. Do those. Please, please and thank you. And uh, so yeah, let me know what you thought of Tenet if you have or if you haven't seen it. And yeah, tell me what your favorite part was. I, t I told you mine.